Hi and welcome to my channel Johannes for FreeBSD. You may already know that FreeBSD is using a monolithic kernel with loadable kernel modules to extend it. And in today's video I will guide you through the process of writing a first Hello World kernel module for FreeBSD, compile it and run it on the system. So you can see here I'm connected to my FreeBSD virtual machine. And let's check out which version of FreeBSD I'm running. So I'm running FreeBSD version 14.0 and I'm running this in a virtual box virtual machine. I have passed through my network card to my host system or my network connection to my host system so I con can connect to my virtual machine from my host PC. And the installation of FreeBSD is pretty straightforward. Basically you just have to go to freebsd.org, click on the download section, choose the type or your system architecture. So I'm using AMD64 here and then I've downloaded the AMD64 disk 1 ISO or you can even download it as a compressed file. If you want to save some time then create a virtual machine, um, use this ISO as an installer and go through the installation process. The process is, is itself is also quite simple. Mostly you can just go with the defaults, but if you want to use your FreeBSD box for compiling kernel modules, make sure that under distribution select, where you can choose optional system components to install, you select the source, so the system source tree package here. So this is not ticked by default and you have to select it manually. But if you tick it, the system source tree will be installed on your system and we will need this system sources to compile our kernel module. But after that you can just go through the rest of the installation and everything should be fine. And after you're done with the installation and you have booted up your um, FreeBSD machine, you can find the sources under user source. So here are all the source files and folders. And the important thing is we can build the FreeBSD kernel over a makefile and we can also include some makefiles of FreeBSD to compile our Hello World kernel module. Okay, so now let's write a Hello World kernel module. Therefore, I will create a new folder I will call hello under KLD. KLD stands for kernel module here. And I will also navigate into this folder. The next step is I have to create a source file. The FreeBSD kernel is compiled in C, so also our makefile will be written in C. Not compiled, is written in C, and of course our Hello World kernel module is also written in C. And I will also name it hello kld.c. First thing is we have to include some header files. So the first one is sys.param.h, and we will need three more. So sys.kernel.h sysmodule.h and sysystem.h. Then we need to um, write the function which is called on some events. So this function will be called when loading but also when unloading the kernel module. Its return value is from the type integer and on success it will return a zero, otherwise an error code. We can give it any name we want and I will use hello loader. And then we have three arguments. The first one is from the type struct module pointer m and this is a pointer to our current module. Over this we can get some metadata information like the name of the module but we won't use it for our simple kernel module. The next um, variable is from the type integer and depending on its value we know which event is yeah, required. But we will see how this works later in just a second. And the last argument are some optional arguments which are passed to this kernel module. I will also show you how to do this later in this video. And then in here I will declare a switch case. And depending on the event I will do different stuff. So in case the case is mod load we know, okay, the function is called and we want to load the module. So in a real driver, we will do the allocations here and stuff like that and setting up the interrupts. But as we only want to have a hello world module, I will use the uprintf function 
and I will print out hello KLD hello world that's it <laughs> so here this function you print that will print out this line to the um, TTY in which we load the kernel module if we want to write a line to the kernels lock we would just use the printf function but I want to use the uprint function here so I don't have to check the kernels lock and I will see this print on my current TTY and then it will break out of the switch case so for unloading the driver the code is just the same and only the event variable is now set to mod unload and I will print out goodbye kernel here and there are some other um, events or event codes available for example there's an event code for suspend or shutdown but I won't support them in my kernel module and in case the hello loader function is called with such a not supported um, yeah, event code I will just return error operation not supported and that's it and down here I will return zero to indicate the function was executed successfully. Cool. So we have created a, a function which will be called when we are loading and when we are unloading the module. And now we have to bundle everything in a module data struct. I will call this hello module. And the first field is the description of the module. I will use hello world kernel module here. The second field is a pointer to the function which should be used when loading and unloading the module. So I can use a uh, pointer to hello loader here. And the last argument would be additional kernel modules data. So here I'm using a null pointer, but if I would set a pointer to some other global variable, for example, I would have this pointer available here in my arc pointer. But here I don't use it. And now the next, the last step I have to do is I have to declare the module so it is known to the kernel. And therefore, the first um, argument here is the module name. I will just use for the word here. Then the second one is um, my module data t struct. So hello mod. The next one is the type of this module. And I will use se sub kld, which is just a normal kernel module. I could also use si sub driver for a driver. And the last argument tells the kernel when it should load this module. And I would use si order any, so it can be loaded any time in the booting process. Okay, and that should be it. Now, next thing I have to do is I have to create a make file to compile it. And this makefile is really simple. So I have to set a source variable with all the sources which needs to be compiled into this kernel module. And the only source here is hello kld.c. Then the name of the module which should be compiled is hello kld. And then I will just include the bsd kmod.md uh, makefile. And in here, all the instructions are how to compile the sources into this kernel module. And that's basically it. Okay, so now let me run this make file and try to compile my Hello World kernel module. Yes, and it worked. We now have the hello kld.ko file available in here. So let's load it into the kernel and let's see if it's working. So therefore I have to change to root users because I need root privileges to load a driver. And for loading a module, I will use the KLD load function. An important thing here is I have to give an absolute path to my kernel module, which is in my current folder with the name hello KLD.ko. When I'm executing this, you can see I'm getting a print in my current TTY, which says hello KLD, hello world. To check which kernel modules are currently loaded, I can use KLD stat. And here we can see all the loaded modules, and the sixth is our hello KLD module. To unload the module, I will use the KLD unload function. And this will unload the um, kernel module, and I will get goodbye kernel printed out on my current TTY. 
Okay, cool. So that's how to compile and write a simple FreeBSD Hello World kernel module. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. Thanks for watching and goodbye.